It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, mid-Michigan spirited sports debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, mid-Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. 60 of the 67 games in the NCAA men's basketball tournament are in the books for 2021. And to talk about that and much more, it's time to meet Team 391, Al Martin. He is the host of Current Sports, weekday afternoons on News Talk 870. He is a workout warrior. He is a hooper, he's a golfer, and he's an actor. Uh, we just call him Mid-Michigan's version of Donald Glover. Is that all right with you, Al? Oh, man, that is quite all right with me, Jack. Thank you for that. You know, I'm, I'm a big Donald Glover fan, a.k.a. the great Childish Gambino. Uh, but, you know, like I always say, anytime I hop on here with you and, of course, the great Tom Crawford, who we'll see in just a moment, I'm, I'm in the presence of greatness. OK, so thank you so much, Jack, for having me for another week of Press Pass. I'm excited to be on. Are you getting enough hoops, Al? You can never get enough hoops, Jack. Never, ever, especially around this time of the year. There is nothing like the NCAA tournament. It is, in my opinion, the best sporting event that we have. And yes, even higher than the Super Bowl. So I have been loving each and every moment of this, just sitting on the couch and watching hoops nonstop. I'm kind of sad that we're we're now knocking on the door. Of course, the uh, the Elite Eight here. Um, yeah. But hey, it's, it's beautiful. And now with sports betting legalized in the state of Michigan, that makes it a little more interesting for people who do not have a dog in the fight. <laughs> also want to welcome the aforementioned Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, a happy boy tonight. Uh, he is a regular contributor to the Wolverine.com and creator of the Crawford Podcasting Network. It was an amazing blue kind of day, Tom. Yeah, it was. And surprisingly, uh, one-sided uh, Michigan pulls away. Got over 20 in that game. That win over Florida State. A lot of the pundits uh, picked uh, the Seminoles to win this game. Uh, I thought it was going to be really close, but uh, really happy for Juwan Howard's team. Now, that's uh, I think that's four Elite Eights for the Michigan basketball programs uh, beginning with 2013 with John Beeline. So it's a great day for Michigan indeed. Uh, we're going to look closer at that game in just a couple of minutes. But looking at the tournament overall, you got three one seeds in position to playing, but but Illinois not there. How surprised are you that the Fighting Illini are home, Tom? I'm really surprised. I Boy, I was one of those guys that think uh, this Illinois team is red hot, but that's why they call it the Madness of March. And, um, I, you know, that, that was a shocking. And Loyal knocks them off, and then Loyola gets knocked off by Oregon State, who got the, you know, not a very good team going in the tournament. We'll be back to look at Michigan, the Big Ten, the tournament, and much, much more coming up. Hey, Michigan, Poker Stars is dealing a hand you don't want to miss. Join the Poker Stars Spin and Go tournament, and you could win cash in just minutes. With the Poker Stars Spin and Go tournament, buy in for as little as a dollar, and you'll have a chance to win the $25,000 jackpot this weekend. Poker Stars Spin and Goes are the fastest way to win. Each Spin and Go is a randomly assigned prize pool, and you could win in minutes, all safe and legal. Grab your seat at the table, Michigan. Download the Poker Stars app now, or head to PokerStars.com and join the Poker Stars Spin and Go tournament today. Come on down to Grow Generation for all your grow supply needs. We've got it all, from organic nutrients and soils to state-of-the-art hydroponic equipment and lights. Grow Generation has the best product selection, service, and solutions in the industry. Ask about Sunleaves, our in-house line of nutrients, or check out our brand new Ion 720-watt LED light fixture. Whether you're a novice or a pro, Grow Generation is your one-stop shop for all grow supplies. Grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. Ready to kick a ratty old sofa to the curb? Yep, this one. Well, right now you can get a look you love and save big during the home makeover sale at Furniture Row. Find sale prices on every sofa, every dining table, and every bed. Plus, four years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. Honey, we're going to Furniture Row! Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The home makeover sale on now at Furniture Row. Watch Good Neighbors with Bob Hoffman, Friday, only on Fox 47 News at 7. 
Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. The Ticket Machine is your local connection to concert, theater, and sporting event tickets nationwide. Our entertainment experts are ready to help you create a memorable experience, trusted by fans for more than 20 years. Whether you're looking for tickets for your corporate outing, family excursion, or vacation, we offer the best seats and the best prices. Grab a front row seat now on theticketmachine.com. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, brought to you by the Ticket Machine at the corner of Mount Hope and Hagedorn. For the best in sports and entertainment ticketing, whenever those events resume, visit Brian and his terrific staff at theticketmachine.com. It is time to take a look at the last NCAA tournament team standing from the Big Ten Tom, let's take a look at this afternoon's and evening's Sweet 16 mismatch between top-seeded Michigan and fourth-seeded Florida State, a game I'm sure that a lot of Wolverine fans will long remember. Uh, what was the difference between a composed Michigan team and a very jittery Florida State squad? Yeah, uh, Florida State got discombobulated early and often. Yeah, you know, it was defense, um, and, you know, it's – there's a huge size differential going into this game that had a lot of the experts thinking that Michigan uh, was going to, you know, be frustrated and, you know, Hunter Dickinson might get in foul trouble and all these other uh, worrisome issues. But um, it just so, some great play from Franz Wagner throughout the game. Great defense. Uh, the number of assists we talked about, you know, 19 assists, whatever. Um, a complete game. I I think, quite honestly, Jack, this is one of be uh, Michigan's best performances yeah. of the entire year. It might be the best game, uh, looking back at the entire season. So much balance, Tom, when you look at uh, the scores, the points, everything spread around. You look at what Mike Smith and Eli Brooks did in the backcourt with eight assists, just one turnover. Uh, they didn't commit fouls. Uh, they had tremendous runouts on points off turnovers. But who was your star of stars for the Wolverines? Well, there's so many of them, but I'm going to go with Brandon Johns. Maybe I'm doing the local thing here. I mean, yeah, 14 points. He tied as a you know a team high with Hunter. Um, this is a kid who knows now that Isaiah Livers is not coming back. Juwan Howard made that official before the game. Tracy Wolfson reported that, and so it's his it's his uh, his job right now and his confidence. He talked about it this past week on a Zoom is booming right now. We've known this kid for a long time, Jack, and uh, he's having his moment right now, and he's taking advantage of it. Al, after a spectacular 18-1 and one start, the Wolverines 5-3 and three with one game to go in the month of March. Uh, what was the difference after February except a much tougher schedule? For me, you know, uh, and to piggyback a bit off of what Tom had to say, the maturation process of the Michigan Wolverines, especially once we found out that Isaiah Livers was going to be a question mark, and now we know it's a finality, you know, moving forward now, there aren't too many people that had the Wolverines making a deep run because of that, and, and they still are. The maturation process of this team has been amazing to watch, Jack, and I think that's been the big difference. Uh, Brandon Johns is a perfect example of that. I mean, he looks like an entirely different player, and I think – his improvement, you could see it starting in the Big Ten tournament, at least for me. Then you look at Mike Smith, that point guard, holding it down. Just, just a solid game manager who can facilitate and score. And then leadership as well, Jack. I mean, yeah. guys stepping up. Eli Brooks, yeah, a fantastic leader for this Michigan Wolverines team. So yeah. it's just that maturation process for me that I've really seen from the Wolverines. Tom, after a down decade and a half, uh, Michigan has been right there with Michigan State in terms of conference supremacy over the last 11 years. If the Wolverines can compete that way in basketball and so many other sports, what can the football program learn from other teams in Ann Arbor? 
<laughs> well, they can learn from this basketball team, Jack. It's about team unity, which I think was was missing uh, on Jim Harbaugh's football team last year. And defense. Defense has been sorely missing on this football team. And Michigan won with defense today. They've been winning with it all season long. It's called communication. And then unselfish play, distributing the basketball, that extra look all the time. We talked about the assist. Uh, football program could learn a lot from the basketball program, which is, in my mind, the kingpin of the athletic program right now at Michigan. Tom, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention the COVID withdrawal of the Michigan hockey team from the NCAA tournament. Uh, that was a, a sad event. And uh, the performance of the women's basketball team, uh, the best team that Michigan women's basketball has ever had, and yesterday, losing an overtime game to Baylor, uh, you want to talk about those two programs? Yeah, first of all, with Kim Barnes on the on the, uh, on the on the women's basketball team, they'd never been to a Sweet 16 ever, and they almost beat Baylor. And that was, you know, people were talking about it uh, after the game. That was one of the best games of the entire women's tournament so far. So kudos to them. That program is solid. The hockey team, I'm really bummed out about. I mean, they hadn't been in the NC two A the last few years. They worked their way back to two C, and all of a sudden, they had that rug pulled out from you. Devastating. They were absolutely devastated by it. Uh, the wicked wand of COVID strikes yet again. Well, I hope that uh, it doesn't affect anyone associated with the men's basketball program, and the Wolverines can move on now uh, to an Elite Eight matchup. And then, hey, Gonzaga potentially is there waiting and. Baylor on the other side. Can Michigan win three more? <laughs> uh, well, they got to get by Alabama or UCLA, you know, and, and that's going to be a challenge. Uh, yeah, they can beat anybody. It's the NCAA tournament, right? <laughs> that game's in progress as we speak. We'll be right back with the tournament look. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. Peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOkemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to delicious. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Don't miss The Masked Singer, all new Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Mark still has a lot left in the tank, which means more basketball. And the best part, it means an exclusive odds boost to make your first bet a layup. New users get exclusive 30 to 1 odds on any team to win their next game. Bet $5 to win $150. Well, Diamond Dale Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance want to thank all our dedicated customers during this recent crisis. We hope to see your smiling faces real soon. Call your hometown team today. We believe home is where the action is. With the FanDuel Casino app, you're only a few taps from your favorite real money casino games, like slots, roulette, and even blackjack. And when you're ready to cash out, you can get to the cage without ever leaving your couch and get your winnings in as little as 24 hours. With FanDuel Casino, you're never far from the action. Join today and play your first 24 hours risk-free and get up to $200 back. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, 
visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. What an ending yesterday in Indianapolis. Tom Crawford, how much were you pulling for Max Acemas to hit that last pull-up three a better look than some of the ones he had hit and make Oral Roberts the first team in NCAA tournament history a 15 seed to get to the Elite Eight? I was so bummed I couldn't sleep last night, Jack. <laughs> I fell in love with this kid, man. And I, I don't, you know, Oral Roberts, Arkansas, as teams go, I don't really care. But this guy was unbelievable. He reminds me of a little guy named Otto Petty years ago, little, 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 kind of just this guard uh, back in the 70s. I, I don't know if it was Jacksonville or one of those teams uh, that in the NCAA 2A tournament that was just so good or Florida State, one of them. But this guy was amazing. Strange, A strange pronunciation of his name. Yeah. But uh, he's an NBA player, as Kenny the Jet Smith said afterwards. Al, do you think anyone had all eight teams correct yesterday and today? It would have made a heck of an eight-team parlay. Well, hold on. I was writing down Otto Petty. I always get a good history. <laughs> Otto, Petty. That one. Otto Petty. Um, but I, I do think so, Jack, because if you look at it, I mean, it's pretty much gone chalk, at least up until this recording right now. Uh, throughout this weekend, with the exception of Oregon State beating Loyola Chicago. So I, I would assume, yeah, there were probably a few people that, that have uh, gotten a lot of games correct this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Al, as we look at what the Big Ten has done and has not done, uh, how do you explain this performance with so many teams bowing out in the first round and just one team left of the nine? It, it really is hard to explain, Jack, but I'll, I'll say this. I'm a results guy. And when discussing which conference is the best in college basketball, I don't want to hear the Big Ten in that conversation anymore. Maybe in the conversation, but not the Big Ten as the answer anymore until we see this 21-year streak of not having a champion from the Big Ten broken. Because the fact that Michigan's the only team surviving and you had nine teams in the tournament, inexcusable in my opinion. Tom Crawford, as we look at the major conferences records thus far in the tournament, how did we all sleep on the Pac-12 and uh, with its 11 wins guaranteed of a 12 tonight uh, with USC and Oregon uh, as we tape this? And that is without a team seated among the top four in any region. Amazing. Four in a Sweet 16. They're going to get to two in the Elite Eight. I, I don't know. It mystifies me. I mean, it's COVID. I don't know. Maybe we weren't paying attention. Maybe it's that laid back West Coast attitude. Now let's just give it, a, give, you know, give it a shot and see what happens. Oregon State is the ultimate story, though. That's an amazing thing. They were picked last, last, and they're in the Elite Eight. Tom, uh, Gonzaga, another impressive performance today, uh, led by 25 and uh, wound up winning by 18. That is three tournament wins by a combined 78 points for the Zags. And when you look at what uh, Gonzaga has done thus far, uh, there are many teams that have gone on and done what the Zags have done. Uh, do you think they have a great chance to go through and do what Indiana did in 1976? Abs absolutely. Jack. Optically, I watched that whole game with Creighton today. Creighton's not a bad team, but... Oh my God! They just they 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 got they got the whole package on that team, and and Mark Hughes is a great coach. I you know if I if someone you know asked me right now who's going to win the national championship, I wouldn't hesitate picking Gonzaga, without question. Only, only one of the other four teams that were undefeated entering the NCAA tournament even made it to a championship game. That was Indiana State, thirty three and zero back in seventy nine, and. Remember, it looked like everyone was saying Kentucky was going to be 40-0 and 0, and then ran into Wisconsin. So that could happen to Gonzaga, too. It just takes one off night, uh, one down performance. We'll be right back. We're going to look at Michigan State moving forward. Up next. Stars Casino by Poker Stars. I won $54,000 in Stars Casino. Stars Casino, now live in Michigan. 
The best part was when I got to tell my mom in person and see her reaction and just the way her face lit up. It was amazing. I had a big weekend. I cashed out for $600. Pokestars is a trusted name. So I saw Pokestars, I figured that's a site I gotta be part of. Download the app and sign up today. New players get a free $50 bonus. It's literally like being in a casino in your own living room. Plus, we're the only casino with a daily free bonus. First thing I do in the morning is I get a cup of coffee and I check the daily free bonuses. There are hundreds of slots online, and with one tap, you can play poker and bet sports. I have poker and I have casino, and it's all on the same app. It's a lot of fun. On Stars Casino, I made a $5 bet and I won $2,500. Sign up today at StarsCasino.com to claim your free $50 bonus. Hello, MidMichigan. This is Joe Gebhardt, your Jackson Neighborhood Reporter. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. So, I got my start in officiating when a friend told me I should try it. At first I just did basketball and I got hooked. Before long I added baseball, softball, football and volleyball. I really enjoy giving back to the game, working with kids and working with my local association to recruit and train new officials. I would like to say to anybody that officiating is a great way to help kids and stay connected to the game. We always need new officials. There's help wanted, just listen. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 107 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you, as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. For a new or used vehicle, go green, go Graf. Walker showing you everything in the toolbox there. Tyson Walker, Northeastern's do-it-all point guard. They run so much of their offense through him. That is a nifty move by Walker. Pocket pick by Walker. He is a difference maker. Wicked crossover in the finish. Walker drive dish. Well, that is beautiful. Fade away for Walker. Wow. Walker. He's got 30. How about Tyson Walker showing off his post skills and one? Tyson Walker again. My goodness. Automatic offense. Tyson Walker. Here's Walker for three. He's got another one. Tyson Walker. Hard take to the rim. There's Walker with a drive and he'll finish. Tyson Walker showing you everything in the toolbox there. Tom Crawford, uh, we are looking at a player who seems to be a combination of Eric Snow in terms of defensive skills. He was a conference defensive player of the year and passing ability and character and uh, Kalen Lucas ability to get to the rack size wise and uh, ability to shoot the ball from the outside. Uh, how much difference would it make to Michigan State if Walker and recruit Jaden Akins can give them big play potential at both ends of the court and some consistency. Well, it's huge because this was the biggest void. Everybody knew it. You didn't even have to be basketball savvy to know that Michigan State had point guard problems this year. This kid, uh, it you know, almost 19 points a game, almost five assists. So he scores and he also dishes. He's a New York kid, Westbury, New York native. He's a, you know, kind of the savvy kind of New York style player that Michigan State needs. I think this is a really, really good acquisition 
I just call it that acquisition uh, in this transfer portal uh, for Michigan State. They beat out Maryland, Texas, and a lot of other notable schools. Yeah. So kudos to Michigan State and Tom Izzo for this. Yeah, Kansas really wanted him. And he was a high school teammate of Kofi Coburn of Illinois and Jose Alvarado of Georgia Tech at Christ the King in New York. Uh, Al, as we look at this Michigan State basketball season, uh, what I call bipolar basketball, uh, what will you remember uh, the spectacular wins uh, in a two-week stretch or the uh, maddening performances and some humiliating losses? Uh, Unfortunately, uh, in a society today where we do harp on the negative, it is hard not to when looking at this year for Michigan State basketball because – I mean, they barely made the NCAA tournament, Jack. And, and I always – I flash back to that that four-game losing streak they had starting on yeah. January 8th against Purdue where they had the game in the bag and Travion Williams spoiled that party. That's what really started the, the spiral for me and when I really started to question just how good uh, this team was. But uh, unfortunately, the losses and and this team, as, as Tom stated, the biggest void was the yeah. point in our position, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, that loss, that giveaway loss to Purdue, and then COVID, and then coming out and deciding they got to play all these games. And uh, before they knew it, they had a four-game losing streak they had to to dig out from. Uh, Al, uh, I want to take a look at Michigan State's uh, NCAA tournament performance beginning in 2011. This is right after the back-to-back Final Four appearances. But do you think maybe Spartan fans are just a little bit spoiled uh, by a program that's had three more Final Fours than Duke over the last 22 seasons? Oh, without a doubt, Jack. That's no question. Michigan State basketball <laughs> fans are spoiled. But at the same time, I mean, that's what you want from your program, right? What Tom Izzo has done is he's established a winning culture, and you just don't expect to, to make the tournament. You expect to go deep and compete for national championships. And Tom is, is no stranger in – and, and making it known that that's what he wants his program to be known for. And he leans into that kind of pressure. So it's a catch-22. If you live up to those expectations, cool. But when you fall short, and when you fall really short, like Michigan State basketball did this year, look, you got to take the shots, you got to take the criticisms, and that's going to come. But, yes, hey, if, if you underperform the way they did, the criticism is warranted, Jack. It is. You're Michigan State basketball. Tom Crawford, I want to take a look at the roster candidates for Michigan State next season, and that is very much a work in progress. Who do you see not wearing a green and white uniform? Uh, I don't see Thomas Kithier wearing a green and white uniform uh, next year. I I just think he looked disheveled out there and didn't play much at the end, and that's the one that sticks out in my mind. I'm not. I have no idea about the others, but there's yeah. going to be some changes. Yeah, I would be stunned if Rocket Watts is back, and there are going to be many others, as we say. Uh, there's going to be considerable uh, turnaround, and that's pretty much the case. A lot of places around the country. Get used to it. We'll be right back talking football. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. Peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. You're out. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with it, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. 
Dr. Raj Kuthrapali. Cool. Redefined. At the David Chapman Agency, we take your business insurance personally. Our expertise makes it easy for you. Experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about your business with the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Visit davidchapmanagency.com. Hey, Michigan, Poker Stars is dealing a hand you don't want to miss. Join the Poker Stars Spin and Go Tournament, and you could win cash in just minutes. With the Poker Stars Spin and Go Tournament, buy in for as little as a dollar, and you'll have a chance to win the $25,000 jackpot this weekend. Poker Stars Spin and Goes are the fastest way to win. Each Spin and Go is a randomly assigned prize pool, and you could win in minutes, all safe and legal. Grab your seat at the table, Michigan. Download the Poker Stars app now, or head to PokerStars.com and join the Poker Stars Spin and Go Tournament today. It's about time to watch on your time. So if you stop using this or this, you can find our news free to watch anytime. Search WSYM on your device. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment. Brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton, South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. Here we go! Setting the tone for the fall right now! <laughs> There you see some of the emotion from Michigan State's first padded spring football practice in 23 months. Al Martin, uh, as we take a look at the additions through the transfer portal for Michigan State, and uh, Mel Tucker very, very busy with his staff, what stands out to you? Oh, man, for, for me, you know, you look at the top of that list, Anthony Russo, the quarterback coming from Temple, um, you know, he's the first player MSU snagged in the transfer portal under Tucker, uh, 26 career starts at Temple. I, I really think that um, at worst, he gives Peyton Thorne and the other young quarterbacks a veteran to compete with. Um, I'm very curious about him and also uh, the running back from Auburn, Harold Joyner. Uh, he's going to join the Spartans, and uh, I, I really – looking at his highlight type tape especially, and coming from a program like Auburn, I'm expecting some big things from him as well. But those two really, really intrigued me, Jack. Uh, Michigan State relying more on walkers in the portal than any school in the country between Tyson <laughs> Walker and running back Kenneth Walker, and I think you'll see him on the field a lot at Spartan Stadium. Uh, Tom, I want to take a look at the starting quarterbacks for all of the Big Ten schools. And there are a lot of questions. Uh, what stands out to you besides a, a terrific player and a big name in Bloomington, Indiana? Well, it's just like we're, we, we have no idea how this is going to play out in the Big Ten from a quarterback standpoint. <laughs> a lot of new material, maybe, maybe Tanner Morgan from Minnesota I don't, and a couple others. Uh, uh, you know, Graham Mertz has played a lot. I don't know. It's uh, who knows what we're going to see. And I do know that Indiana, though, I think Indiana under Tom Allen, I know they lost Mike Carr as a coach, uh, running backs coach. I, I think that culture, this could be the year the Hoosiers win the Big Ten title. I just, uh, well, well, what am I saying? Ohio oh. State is there. Maybe finish second, second again. <laughs> I'm going to check myself once again because <laughs> I got Ohio State right there, the big 800 pound gorilla. And hey, we have seen uh, Brandon Peters around forever and he is <laughs> yeah. back at illinois i think he's trying to be the first guy to play for four head coaches and uh uh don't know how it's all going to work out but uh, he is still there in champagne uh al i want to take a look at the challenges ahead for michigan state and let's take a look at the spartan schedule for 2021 and you see the michigan schedule alongside uh, what's the key to the Spartans taking a major step and having a successful season? Well, for well, you know, like like Tom stated, man. First off, the quarterback position—you got to have consistent quarterback play because that was certainly a uh, a flaw for for the Spartans um, last season. But uh, for for me, you know, and and don't get me wrong, Michigan State, in my opinion, performed above a lot of people's expectations last year. But you just want to see these guys get better. 
You know, that that's really what you got to look at here. And looking at that schedule, I think, you know, now it's revised now and we and we see it there. Um, you know, they're scheduled to host Michigan on October 30th in exchange for a less than appealing finish with games against Rutgers and Maryland to close the schedule. Um, also, I like where the bye is as well. You know, the, the bye week was previously scheduled for October 9th. And um, that was after closing the non-conference schedule against Western Kentucky before facing Michigan to kick off a tough, really three game stretch there. But now it falls on October 23rd following a game at Indiana and before hosting the Wolverines, which is ideal. So there's some potential here, Jack. We'll see. Hey, Al, uh, Michigan State has won five of the last seven in Ann Arbor, uh, but man, not quite as successful at home. You're not allowed to talk to Tom Crawford about that <laughs> game the week of October 30th until it's over. He'll be a very <laughs> nervous boy. <laughs> right, he's very, very nervous. I'll, I'll save it. We'll save it for then, Tom, all right? I'm just how I'm wired. Al, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Just had to note that, though. I had to yes. note that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tom, I want to take a look at that schedule again, Faith, if you can pop that back up there and take a look at the challenges awaiting the Wolverines. Is it possible uh, that Michigan could beat Michigan State and Ohio State in the same season, uh, something that hasn't happened since 2003? Well, that back-end uh, statement, and Ohio State, eh, wrong, nope, not going to happen. I think they can beat Michigan State, um, but their defense has got to ramp up. Mike McDonald, the new D.C., has got to – yeah, this has got to work out because this has been an absolute ridiculous train wreck on defense the last few years. Very un-Michigan-like, let's call it. And some tough non-conference challenges, too, Al. I'm going to be heading down to Miami for that game in September. And uh, Derek King, at quarterback uh, for the Hurricanes, that will be a major challenge for Michigan State uh, heading into Big Ten play. Uh, we'll be right back. Our Law of the Jungle segment looking at Tigers, Lions, Pistons up next. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we built FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more, more ways to bet, more ways to fund your account, more ways to cash in, and more ways to cash out with payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 24 hours. You want more? You got it. Place your first bet risk-free and get up to $1,000 back if you don't win. Ready to kick a ratty old sofa to the curb? Yep, this one. Well, right now you can get a look you love and save big during the home makeover sale at Furniture Row. Find sale prices on every sofa, every dining table, and every bed. Plus, four years no interest financing and free shipping right to your doorstep. Honey, we're going to Furniture Row! Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The home makeover sale, on now at Furniture Row. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris. Uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. Peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOkemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. 
Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff for the best in Mediterranean food. That's why I'm there every week. Believe it or not, it is baseball season, despite what it might seem when you gaze out your window. And the Detroit Tigers ready to head north with the season opener Thursday against Cleveland. Uh, Tom Crawford, as we look at the Tigers' pitching rotation, the starting staff moving north, I see five names there, but I don't see Denny McClain and Mickey Lolich. Uh, I do not see uh, Jack Morris or Dan Petrie. I don't see Justin Verlander or Max Scherzer. Uh, what does that mean for Tigers baseball? Well, I don't see a lot of things for Tiger baseball, <laughs> including a lot of wins. But <laughs> I do see that uh, Casey Mize had a nice exhibition play performance on Thursday against Toronto. He had nine strikeouts. And, you know, we're all excited when he came on board. And uh, so he's back. And then Spencer Turnbull is supposed to be coming back for a non-COVID-related uh, injury. Matthew Boyd's there. Uh, Scooble, I know you're high on. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I I. Uh, it's totally guesswork on this Tiger pitching staff of how good they're going to be, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I've said that Tarek Skubal is going to have a better season than Casey Mize, but, hey, there's potential. They have young arms in the system, something they have not always had. Fans are going to have to be very patient with this team. Al Martin, what's your projection? How many wins for the 2021 Tigers? Uh, they're not going to be good. I'm I'm totally with Tom. And uh, Detroit sports, man, is just is just tough. It's a tough time, Detroit sports fans out there. I'm setting the bar real, real low. I'm going 65 wins. 65. Mm-hmm. It's yep. cold, man. That's cold. Oh, really cold. Yeah. <laughs> real, real. 65 and 97. That is still below the hundred loss threshold. Uh, Tom Crawford, what do you see for the Tigers this year? I'm going to slap another 10 on there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go about 75 because I'm a positive guy, much more positive than Mr. Negative Al Martin is today. <laughs> <laughs> just 10 more. Huh? Just 10 more. Okay. All right. 10 more. Still bad. Still, still bad. bad. Still bad. But not that bad. 65 is bad. <laughs> Tom, uh, you know Fred Thompson. He insists. 84 wins this year. Well, so he, He's delusional. That guy is drinking some kind of weird Kool-Aid. <laughs> I mean, he's always yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I want to take a look, uh, switching sports, at uh, the NFL draft, the first half of the first round of the draft, and some big trades this week, two of them involving the Miami Dolphins, sending the number three selection to the 49ers for the 12th pick and three other choices, including two first-rounders. Then Miami flipped that 12th pick and the 2022 first rounder to move back up to number six, one spot ahead of the Lions. Al, who's the big winner there? Well, I, I want to say the, the Miami Dolphins here, Jack. I think that Miami, when making these moves, they're sending a message that they are prioritizing depth and flexibility uh, both now and into the future. You know, and this team is also a sign that this team is fully invested into Tua Tagovailoa at QB. You know, there was talks about, you know, possibly Miami being a potential destination for Deshaun Watson, but we all know what, what uh, what's happening with that situation and, and Deshaun out in Houston. But, um, hey, my, Miami is is showing that they're all in right now on Tua, and I, I can't blame them. I, I like Tua's upside in the NFL. You mentioned Deshaun Watson. Do you think we will see him in uniform this year, and will it be with the Houston Texans? We will. We, we will see him in uniform with the Houston Texans, despite everything that's happening off the field when it comes to him right now. Um, you got to let the legal system play out, and he's not going to be proven guilty or innocent um, by the time the NFL season starts next year. So he should be on the football field, and we'll see how he deals with uh, all of the noise surrounding him. All right, Al, uh, back to basketball, your favorite sport, and a flurry of late trades just before the deadline in the NBA, and uh, Troy Weaver, uh, he is always dealing and decided that uh, it was time to move DeLon Wright. He goes to Sacramento as a backup for De'Aaron Fox. Uh, Pistons get Corey Joseph and uh, second-round picks, whatever they are worth. But uh, when you look at all the moves that Troy Weaver has made, does he have the Pistons on the right track? Those three first-round draft picks, 
And how long is that road back to respectability, much less contention? Well, to answer the first question first, yes, the Pistons are totally on the right track. What Troy Weaver has done and the message he has sent is that this team is in full rebuild mode. And in the NBA, there is no gray area when it comes to whether you are in full rebuild mode or competing for a championship. I love all the moves he's made. Uh, Also, he went hard after Jeremy Grant, who is in the running to be, you know, most improved this season. Uh, Same with Sadiq Bey. He's a great basketball mind, and he's showing it with these moves, Jack. And when it comes to when they will be a, a championship contender again, I'm still going to go with five years. I'm sticking with that. Five years to fully rebuild this team. And there are some terrific prospects. You've seen them in the NCAA tournament, and you still might at Gonzaga. It might be a Piston next year. We'll be right back. Hey, Michigan. Poker Stars is dealing a hand you don't want to miss. Join the Poker Stars Spin and Go tournament, and you could win cash in just minutes. With the Poker Stars Spin and Go tournament, buy in for as little as a dollar, and you'll have a chance to win the $25,000 jackpot this weekend. Poker Stars Spin and Goes are the fastest way to win. Each Spin and Go is a randomly assigned prize pool, and you could win in minutes, all safe and legal. Grab your seat at the table, Michigan. Download the Poker Stars app now, or head to PokerStars.com and join the Poker Stars Spin and Go tournament today. Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. (gasps) Right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull around back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing Playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And build strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother-approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Value and Values segment, brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, a statewide organization with a proud history. The MHSAA supports broad-based opportunities for growth and teaches life lessons through the value and values of high school athletics. Now here are the starters for today's game. The Class A Championship, starting for Birmingham Brother Wright. Number 15, Kevin Smith. Starting for Lansing Everett at guard, number 12, Dale Beer. For Brother Rice at guard, number 11, Ron Washington. I am very happy to be joined tonight by a state champion 44 years ago. The 1977 Everett Vikings, Class A champs, and that was a packed Chrysler Arena. Overtime win against Birmingham brother Rice. Dale, does it seem like 44 years ago that uh, you were going up against Kevin Smith and getting that big win after Irvin fouled out? 
Man, it doesn't, Jack. I tell you, Irv and I was talking about it the other day, and uh, and uh, actually, the twenty sixth of, of this month was was uh, the forty fourth year. So we was both saying, "Man, can you believe it?" I said, "No," but it's it's been forty four, man. It's, it's it's like it was yesterday, though. <laughs> A lot of people who were at that game thought that Irvin might wind up playing for the Michigan Wolverines. You imagine how history would have changed if he had said he's going to go blue? Man, whoo, i tell you what, um, he was close. He was close. But, uh, you know, I just think he got he got uh, reeled in with the green and white. So that made a whole difference. So um, it would have been a different feeling just being there, uh, playing at the University of Michigan. And uh, But, no, he, he, he already made his mind that he's going to be in a green and white. So... <laughs> <laughs> While you were playing for George Fox, and not just on that championship team, but also as a star of the team with Tony Daniel the following year, uh, you had a lot of great games with Sexton and with Lansing Eastern. Did you ever think that you would be the head coach of the Big Reds? <sighs> no. <laughs> no, i tell you what, man. You know, I had took a couple years off. Um, was with Desmond over at Everett and uh, took a couple years off and, uh, you know, just got hungry for it again. And the job came up uh, available. And so I applied and, and uh, was happy to get it. So, um, but everything's been great. You know, I've been having some great, uh, yeah. great players so far. And, um, you know, everything's been going great. So I'm, I'm, I'm loving it over at J-Dubs. Besides the length of the shorts, Dale, uh, what is the <laughs> biggest difference between uh, the basketball when you were playing at Everett and now coaching for Sexton? Well, you know, it, it's just the, you know, it, it's quite natural to game, you know, and then um, the shorts, you know, uh, wow. Uh, I can't even talk about the shorts, man, because I don't think those are coming back. But the the difference is these kids, man, they're, they're relentless and, uh, you know, there's a lot of them just hungry, more hungry, it seems like yeah. now. And they just, they know what it takes now. So um, just getting over there and and, and yeah. enjoying the atmosphere over at J.W. Sexton is, uh, has been great. Your Big Reds got better in year two, won a couple of games in the district, and then uh, lost the district championship game to Ionia. But I know there are better days ahead. Big Reds basketball has a very bright future and it's great to see high school basketball and now getting into the tournament. Looks like they're going to conquer COVID. Dale, thanks so much for being with us. I really appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate it, Jack. Anytime, man. We'll be right back with our Cool and Smooth Awards, our weekly honors, up next. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOkemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. It's been a long decade these past two years, but March still has a lot left in the tank, which means more basketball. That's what I'm talking about. More favorites moving on, two, three zones, and camera time for the bench heroes. And the best part, more action for everyone on FanDuel Sportsbook, including up to $1,000 back if you airball your first bet. That is insane, even for March. 
Place your first bet risk-free and get up to $1,000 back if you don't win. Game's on. FanDuel Sportsbook. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for a cool and smooth segment brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Oakham is north and south, North Lansing and West Lansing. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butterburgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's Welcome to Delicious. There you see one of the greatest players in NBA history, certainly one of the top 15, some would say top 10. Jerry West calls him the greatest Laker. We're talking about Elgin Baylor and guys he dropped out of school as a junior in high school, worked for a year, didn't think he was even going to get his high school diploma, and then went back and started off in Idaho, and then the school dropped basketball, wound up at Seattle, and then was drafted by the Minneapolis Lakers and saved basketball for that franchise. If there had not been an Elgin Baylor, there might never have been a Los Angeles Lakers as we know them. But he was not the only loss this week. Uh, Bobby Plager, who is uh, one of the legends of the National Hockey League, they call him the original blue. He was a tremendous player for St. Louis, but a little bit like Al Kaline with the Tigers, the way he stuck with the organization, had so many roles. Uh, you're talking about a guy 50 years with the same organization in the National Hockey League, uh, just beloved in St. Louis. Then there's Howard Schnellenberger, and people know him as a guy who recruited Joe Namath, and really helped Bear Bryant get three national championships, uh, was instrumental for the Dolphins in that 17-0 and season as, as an assistant to Don Shula. But he was a guy who really started Miami Hurricanes football with the Renaissance, putting that fence around what he called the state of Miami, winning a national championship there. Also a tremendous job saving programs at Louisville, and uh, starting a program at Florida Atlantic. Three Giants, and they will be missed this week. All right, uh, Team 391, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint explosion this week. Al Martin, what do you have for our play of the week? Yes, and, and, and first off, thank you for acknowledging those greats, Jack. Uh, we're losing some great ones out there. Uh, but, you know, you always happen to have me on, Jack, the <laughs> Sunday after a big, big fight, all right? Yes. And I'm a yeah. big fight guy, UFC and boxing. And, and last night in the in the world of UFC, Francis Ngannou made history, becoming the first African fighter to capture a UFC heavyweight gold championship, a devastating finish over Stipe Miocic, who was one of the greatest ever to do it. And now UFC has three champion African-born fighters, the first time that's ever happened, Israel Adesanya, uh, who hails from Nigeria, uh, he's the, the UFC uh, middleweight king. And also Kamaru Usman is the uh, UFC's middleweight, a uh, welterweight champion. Uh, he's a native of Nigeria. So pretty awesome. Big shout out to Francis Ngannou. What a fight. Second round knockout last night. Will there be a rematch, Al? I think right now Ngannou is looking at John Jones. And that has wow. the potential to be the biggest UFC fight in the history of the sport. So uh, that was actually uh, Miocic and Ngannou was the second fight. Ngannou had lost that fight two years ago, so he he gets a redemption in that one. But John Jones and Ngannou is going to be huge, huge. Tom Crawford, what do you have for our team of the week? This is easy. I'm going back to our prior conversation about the Pac-12. I'm going with Oregon State. My God, you're, when you're picked last in your conference and you're in yeah. the Elite Eight and your conference is doing so good, and the NCAA tournament, uh, the Beavers, my hat's off to them as the team of the week. Do you think they're done, Tom? N no, I don't, I don't <laughs> necessarily think they're done. I mean, hey, it's the NCAA tournament, man. They got, they got, they're got, they playing with house money. When you have no pressure, who knows? I think they could move on. We'll see. All right. Uh, that brings us to our player of the week. And uh, the NCAA tournament, you have a million choices, but – uh, I'm tempted to give it to anyone who can correctly pronounce Acemas, as in the Oral Roberts star, and Gonzaga, 
and who